Now to Santa Maria, California, where pop star Michael Jackson was formally charged with molesting a young boy, a cancer patient, that Jackson hosted at his Neverland Ranch. Jackson's lawyers said the charges are untrue. So the stage has been set for what could become another large celebrity trial with the all-media frenzy that that implies. Here's NBC's Jim Avila. It's a three-page, nine-count charging document that, if proven, could mean prison and the lifetime brand of sex offender for one of the world's most famous entertainers, Michael Joe Jackson. We've filed formal charges, a felony criminal complaint against Mr. Jackson. The singer, who is not required to appear in court today and is instead planning a party at his Neverland Ranch to rally support this weekend, is charged with molesting a 13-year-old boy seven times between February 7th and March 10th, 2003. The specific legal language, lewd act upon a child. He also faces two counts of administering an intoxicating agent to help him molest the boy. NBC News has learned from sources who have heard the boy's story firsthand. He contends Jackson gave him wine and pills before touching him inappropriately. A family friend who brought the accuser's mother to an attorney for help told Dateline NBC in an exclusive interview to be broadcast tomorrow night that the family is determined to see the case through. Suggesting that whatever's motivating this woman and her son is not money. I don't think says money. Not revealed in this first document, a key witness. The family says the accuser's little brother saw the abuse. But what about that leaked document from the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services, which virtually cleared Jackson of abusing the same boy last February? To call that an investigation is a misnomer. It was an interview. Plain and simple, and that's all it was. And we're not concerned about it in terms of any impact on our, our, our case. In Los Angeles late this afternoon, a spirited defense of Jackson began immediately. Another dramatic blanket denial. These charges not only are categorically untrue, but they're driven, driven by two things, money and revenge. A high-stakes case with riches, reputation, and justice all on the line. Jim Avila, NBC News, Santa Maria. Jackson bombshell rocked the entertainment world with allegations that Jackson molested a 12-year-old cancer patient. But is the alleged victim's family having a tough time keeping their story straight? NBC News correspondent Mike Taibbi has explosive details in this exclusive report. When the controversial British documentary Live Five next year. Thanks, Mike. What a report. Hey, the host of the Abrams Report is with us, uh, and that's uh, Dan Abrams. Dan, that's a remarkable report. Yeah, look, uh, I mean, what does that do to this case? What does it do for the defense? Look, I, I think it's a big deal. Um, I think in particular the fact that the Santa Barbara authorities uh, did their own investigation. Even if they didn't specifically interview uh, the family and the kids, even if they were using uh, the interviews from child services the fact that they did their own interview and they came to their own conclusion that they were going to close this case you know that's very different than what the district attorney tom steden has said publicly when he sort of dismissed uh... the l.a child services uh... interview and investigation saying well you know that's a department that's had a lot of problems that's a department uh, you know, that, that in, in essence you just can't rely on. Then we find out his own department did an investigation uh, and determined, in effect, uh, that there was nothing to substantiate the claim. So I think this is a, a very helpful to the defense camp. Dan, as you know, the family's going to be on trial here uh, when this case finally does end up in a courtroom. Do you think uh, that just absolutely destroys the mother and the family's credibility, uh, changing their stories dramatically as they did over a few months' time after they went and talked to a civil attorney about possibly yeah. suing Jack. You know what's weird, Joe, is that the whole family is changing their stories. I, that's what I find particularly odd, is we're not just talking about one person changing a story. We're not just talking about just mom or just the accuser. We're talking about everyone in the family, sister, Brother, boy, mother, everyone tells one story at one time, and then everyone tells a different story later? Kind of weird. Kind of weird indeed. <laughs> and does it, I, mean, does it, I don't know what else to say, honestly. I mean, it, you know, this, it, yeah. it's a disturbing, I mean, I think there's no question that this helps the defense. 
Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. Well, Dan Abrams, thanks a lot for being with us tonight. All right, Joe. We, we greatly appreciate it. And, hey, just a reminder, you can catch the Abrams Report Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern.